bathed my heart in love and wrote my name above. And just a little talk with Jesus made me whole. Now let us have a little talk with Jesus. Let us tell him all about, about our trouble. He will hear our faintest cry. And he will answer, answer by and by. Now when you feel, feel little, little prayer wheels turning and you know a little fire is burning, you will find a little talk with Jesus makes it right. It makes it right. Sometimes my past seems drear without a ray of cheer. And then a cloud of doubt may hide the light of day. The mist of sin may rise and hide the starry skies. But and just a little talk with Jesus clears the way. Come on now, sing! Now let us have a little talk with Jesus. Let us tell him all about our trouble. He will hear our faintest cry. And he will answer by and by. Now when you the prayer will turning and you know no, a little fire is burning you will find a little talk with jesus makes it right it makes it right i may have doubts and fears my eyes be filled with tears but jesus is a friend who watches day day and night i go to him in prayer he knows my every care just a little talk with Jesus makes it right. Now let us have a little talk with Jesus. Let us tell him all about our trouble. He will hear our faintest cry. And he will answer by and by. Now when you feel a little prayer will turn. And you know a little fire is burning. You will find a little talk with Jesus makes it right. It makes it A little talk with Jesus. Let us tell him all about our trouble. He will hear our faintest cry. And he will answer by and by. Now, when you feel a little prayer, will turn it. And you know a little fire. Is burning. You will find a little talk with Jesus makes it right. It makes it right. Hey, all right. Have a welcome, everybody. Good to see you. Welcome on social media. Take your mic out. Take my mic out. Take your mic out. All right. Okay. Pick a new song. Pick a new song. All right. Let's sing number fifty-four. Number 54, I'll fly away. How about that, everybody? <laughs> Number 54. Yeah, get that boy a, a spot in there. Let old David have one of those. He needs singing. He's a good singer. We love old David. Glad to have David Van Horn and Mr. Bill Moose tonight. Give him a big hand, all right? Good job. Good job. We're glad they're here. This is your warning, Bill. You don't use the mic, you get a stand next song, too. Some glad morning when this life is over, I'll fly away. Fly away. I'll fly away to a home on God's celestial shore. I'll fly away. I'll fly away. I'll fly away. I'll fly away. Oh, glory. I'll life have grown I'll fly away fly away I'll fly away like a bird from prison bars has flown I'll fly away I'll fly away I'll fly away I'll fly away oh glory I'll fly away fly away the morning when I die 
Hallelujah, by and by, I'll fly away. I'll fly away. I'll fly away. Just a few more weary days in there. That's good singing, y'all. Good stuff. That's pretty good. Amazing Grace. Huh? No. Nope. When the roll was called up yonder. When the roll is called up yonder, 204. When the trumpet of the Lord shall sound, and time shall be no more. And the morning breaks eternal bright and fair. And fair. When, when the same of earth shall gather over on the other shore. And the roll is called up yonder, I'll be there. When the roll, when the roll is called up yonder, I'll be there. Called up yonder, I'll be there. When the road, when the road is called up yonder. Woo! When the road is called up yonder, I'll be there. On that bright and cloudless morning, when the dead in Christ shall rise, and the glory of his resurrection share. When his chosen ones shall gather to their home beyond the sky, and the roll is called up yonder, I'll be there. When the roll, when the roll is called up yonder, I'll be there. When the roll, when the roll is called up yonder, I'll be there. When the roll, when the roll is called up yonder. When the roll is called up yonder, I'll be there. Let us labor for the master from the dawn till setting sun. Let us talk of all his wondrous love and care. Then when all of life is over and our work on earth is done, and the roll is called up yonder, I'll be there. Here we go, sing! When the roll It's called up yonder, I'll be there. When the roll, when the roll is called up yonder. Woo! When the roll is called up yonder, I'll be there. True story, everybody. We've sung this uh, not two or three months ago when we first got to go back to Green Acres Nursing Home. And we sang this, and a lady was sitting there with her book like this. And we did the woo, and she went. Scared her to death. Didn't know what to think. It was the funniest thing. I mean, Joe looked at me and I looked at him. We just grinned and it's so funny. But she just jumped around. She didn't, every time we do that, she didn't know. She just double take and it was so funny. But it's good. But I like the woo. Let's uh, late lighten everybody up. Everybody get a chance to smile. Enjoy that. Here we go. What's wrong? Since Jesus. 258. Since Jesus came into my heart. What a wonderful change in my life has been wrought Since Jesus came into my, came heart. Into my heart And had light in my soul For which long I had sought 
Since Jesus came into my heart Since Jesus came into my heart Since Jesus came into my heart Lots of joy o'er my soul Like the sea billows roll Since have ceased from my wandering and going astray since Jesus came into my heart. And my sins, which were many, are all washed away since Jesus came into my heart. Since Jesus came into my heart. So joy o'er my soul, like the sea billows roll. Since Jesus came into my heart, I shall go there to dwell in that city I know. Since Jesus came into my heart. I'm happy, so happy, as onward I go, since Jesus came into my heart. Since Jesus came into my heart, since Jesus came into my heart floods of joy o'er my soul like the sea billows roll since Jesus came into my heart yeah good job good job Ooh, good deal man good deal all right let's flip over to number 92 oh victory in Jesus victory in Jesus I heard an old, old story How a Savior came from glory How He gave His life on Calvary To save a wretch like me I heard about His groaning Of His precious blood's atoning Then I repented of my sin the victory, oh victory in Jesus, my Savior forever. He sought me and he bought me with his redeeming blood. He loved me ere I knew him and taught my love. cleansing flood I heard about his healing of his cleansing power revealing how he made the lame to walk again and he caused the blind to see uh, then I cried dear Jesus come and heal my broken spirit Somehow Jesus came and brought to me the victory. Oh, victory in Jesus, my Savior forever. He sought me and he bought me with his redeeming blood. He loved me here. Beneath the cleansing flood, 
I heard about a mansion He's built for me in glory And I heard about the streets of gold Beyond the crystal sea About the angel singing And the whole redemption story And some sweet day I'll sing up there The song of victory I'll sing that out Oh, victory in Jesus, my Savior forever. He sought me and he bought me with his redeeming blood. He loved me ere I knew him and all my love is to him. He plunged me to victory beneath the cleansing flood amen all right let's go number 12 in the garden number 12 in the garden i come to the garden alone while the two is still on the roses and the voice i hear falling on my ear the son of god discloses and he walks with me and he talks with me and he tells me i am his own and the joy we share as we tarry there none other has ever And the sound of his voice is so sweet, the birds hush their singing, and the melody that he gave to me within my heart is ringing. joy we share as we tarry there none other has ever known I stay in the garden with him though the night But he bids me go through the voice of woe. His voice to me is calling. And he walks with me and he talks with me. Joy we share as we 
sweet the sound that has saved a wretch like me. I was, was lost, but now I'm found. Was mine, but Was grace, twas grace that taught my heart to fear and embrace my fears really. How precious did that grace. God, we thank you for tonight, and God, we just thank you for the opportunity to come and, and to worship you and to sing your praises, God, and sing these beautiful old hymns. Uh, God, I thank you for uh, all the men up here tonight, God, just for what they mean to me and the impact they've had in my life, and God, I just pray that in this season, in this month, um, God, that we would be grateful um, and have that gratitude in our hearts. Uh, God, we thank you for tonight. We love you and praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. That is what we're going to talk about tonight. Um, I wanted Cole to bring a microphone, and I want to know what you are thankful for tonight. I want to know what you're grateful for. You know, when I read the scripture, I read um, about God's love. I read about his mercy and his grace. I read about uh, his judgments that will come to those who are without Christ. Uh, and you don't want to be without Christ. You don't want to leave here tonight without a personal relationship with Jesus. You know, when I read the scripture, I, I, I'm, I'm amazed at, at what God's word says to us. 
uh, when he opens up the Psalms. I love the Psalms and enjoy reading them. We've been studying them now for about two and a half years since COVID happened uh, in our manna on Wednesday mornings, and we uh, just really went through a lot of those. And, and one of the Psalms that we talked about is Psalms 100. Psalms 100 is a very important psalm because it begins to speak to us about telling us, first of all, first and foremost, how good God is. Isn't God good? Can I have an amen? God is good. He says, make a joyful noise, a joyful noise to the Lord, all ye land. Serve the Lord with gladness. You know, there ought to be something about when we serve Jesus, it ought to be something glad. I, uh, uh, I, I'm, I'm tired tonight. Uh, uh, I, I was sitting over there with Brother Don and his wife, and I told they, they said, I'm tired. And she said, Brother Kim, you look tired. And I do. I am tired. I'm, I'm tired physically. But you know what? There's something about just coming in and just being able to sing these old hymns that just brings about a, just a fresh renewal. Serve the Lord with gladness, David says. He said, come before his presence with singing. Uh, I, we recruited Bill and David tonight. We sure appreciate them. But both them old boys can sing. They're good. They know what to do. Cole is an excellent leader when he leads us in singing. And, and uh, my dream has always been, boys, to sing in a quartet. And look what y'all did tonight. I got to make my dream came true. It's incredible. But serve the Lord with gladness. Sing, he says. Whether you can sing or not, he wants you to sing. God wants you to sing because he knows what's in your heart. He says, know it that the Lord, he is God. It is he who has made us and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. You know, see, God is good. And folks, God is eternally, eternally merciful to us, the people of God. He's eternally merciful. You know, when he begins to share with us, he said, come into his gates. Come into the gates. On Sunday mornings, I've been preaching about rebuilding the walls and the gates. And last Sunday, we went through 10 different gates. We started at the Sheep Gate, and we ended at the Mifkod Gate, the Gate of Judgment, when they are the Gate of Review. And when we went through the Sheep Gate, then we came all the way back around. Here's the Sheep Gate again. The Sheep Gate mentions of the Lord Jesus Christ and his great sacrifice. It's where the sheep went through the city of Jerusalem to be slaughtered for a sacrifice. Folks, there was one sacrifice once and for all for every man, every woman, every boy, and every girl, and his name is Jesus. Say amen. amen. And so we ought to enter his gates with thanksgiving, something inside us, something that blesses us. And so, so enter his courts with praise and be thankful to him. Not only is God good, God is eternally merciful, but the third thing is God is in his truth endures forever and forever and forever you know everything else in this world is going to pass away everything that you and i know is temporary gary everything me and you have uh, accomplished in life is one day going to be somebody else's everything somebody else is going to come along they're going to ride your horse Somebody else come along and going to ride your lawnmower. Somebody else is going to come along and they're going to drive your truck. Somebody else is going to come along and going to do those things. But understand this. The thing about it is when we think about the Lord, he's eternal. And folks, when we have a personal relationship with him, our relationship is an eternal relationship with him. Say amen. That's good stuff. I wanted to encourage you tonight because the Bible tells us, he said, enter with his gates with thanksgiving, to his courts with praise. Be thankful to him and bless his name for the Lord is good. Did you hear that? The Lord is good. His mercy endures as everlasting. His truth endures to all generations. Doesn't matter how old you are. God's been in going through this for a lot of time. Now, here's what I want to do. The Bible says in 1 Thessalonians, be thankful. In everything, in everything, give thanks, for this is the will of God concerning you in Christ Jesus. What are you thankful for tonight? Be, start over there with them two boys right there. What are you boys thankful for tonight? Tell everybody what you're thankful for. Get them over there. Get a, yeah, get a shot of them, bub. That's good. What are you thankful for, Bill? What am I thankful for? What are you thankful for? You. Well, Cole, thank you. And David Vanhoff. Well, that's pretty good. And old cowboy. All right. What are you thankful for, Dave? I'm thankful for my salvation, and I'm thankful for this uh, community that I get to live in, this town that I get to live in, and the friendships that I have uh, in this town. That's good. And my family. That's good. Good stuff. 
Cole, tell us what you're thankful for. Uh, I'm thankful for Kim. I'm thankful for his church. Uh, and I'm thankful for, uh, for my new daughter, Savvy Cam. Amen. That's good. That's good. Roger, what are you thankful for? Hang on just a second. Let Cole get to you here. What are you thankful for? I'm thankful for, uh, for knowing Jesus. I'm thankful for all the church family. And I'm, thinking, I'm thankful for the way he looks out for each and every one of us. He looks after us, doesn't he? That's good, brother. Thank you, brother. Somebody else. Get old white lightning over here. What's lightning thankful for? Gary Neal, what are you thankful for? I am so thankful that God extended my life. And I am so thankful that the prayers he answered for me. Amen, buddy. That's good. Thankful that he continues on with our life. Give, give, give these girls right here a chance. Come on. Come on, girls. Both of you. I was a little girl of nine years old. He's always carried me through. He has been there through the storms of my life, and he's brought me out of them to the rainbows and the sunshine. And I'm just, I'm just so blessed to have all y'all and just my family and the ones that love me and care about me. Amen. Very good. I'm thankful for my family and the community we live in. That's good. That's good. I am thankful. Go ahead. Give mom one there. Let mom tell them what you're thankful for. I guess I'm thankful for you, right? Oh, well, I hope so. <laughs> I, I don't know of anything I'm not thankful for. I do have so much to be thankful for. Very good. Praise the Lord. That's good. That's good. All right. Linda, what are you thankful for? Very good. Very, very good. All right, Charlie, what are you thankful for? Yeah, I'm thankful for you, Cole, and probably your old buddy Kevin Murray. Got my life turned back around and thankful to be in the church again. Amen. Amen. We're thankful. Let her have a chance there. There you go, sis. Tell us what you're thankful for tonight. I'm thankful for God. Amen. He let me live. Yeah. He that's good. That's good. Brother Don, what are you thankful for back there? Oh, there's so many things to be thankful for. I'm thankful for my salvation yeah. 57 years ago. Wow. And uh, I'm thankful for the, all the many blessings he's given me through life, the friends I've had, family, and just can't wait to go meet him in person. That's good. That's I'm good. Ready. That's good. What are you thankful for, sis? I'm thankful for Jesus. I'm thankful for this little church here. And I'm thankful for my family. Amen. Amen. All right. But young lady, what are you thankful for? I'm thankful for my Jesus for, because he has done so much for me. He's healed my body so many times. I thank him for my family. I thank him because he's always there with me. Very good. Linda, you're next. Oh, there's so much to be thankful for, but every night is, I'm thankful for Monday, for the church that God put me in, for you, Brother Kim and Cole. But most of all, I thank God for Jesus. Um, for without him dying on that cross would be nothing. That's right. And all those wonderful things that he's brought us through all, all the time, the bad times. Um, without him, we wouldn't have made it. That's right. That's right. So I'm thankful for a whole lot of things. Very good. All right. Pass that on rail. I'm thankful for God being all I need wrapped in one. Yeah. Very good. All. That's three in one, isn't it? Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Yes, ma'am. Very good. Good, good. Granny, 
first of all, I'm thankful for a lot of things. And I, I, I don't have time to tell you all of them. But <laughs> Just two or three. <laughs> I'm thankful for you, and I'm thankful for Cole. I am thankful for this cowboy church because I was out of the church, and me and Renee both was. And when we started coming to the cowboy church, everything changed. And then from here, we went over to the big church. And uh, I could go on a little bit further, but I guess that's good enough. And I'm just thankful Jesus loves me. Amen. That's good. That's good. Miss Sue? Well, you know, there's just so many things. and But I'm thankful for our family. Uh, I'm thankful for help. Um, this past year, uh, of course, I even had uh, some health issues, and I, I really think that the Lord has took care of him, and hopefully at the end of December, he'll uh, be able to quit taking that medicine, and he's going to be good. Good, so There's good. so many things that we're thankful for. Wonderful, wonderful, very good. All right, Cole, make your way over here to these teenagers over here. We'll make them get share a little bit, all right? Oh, my goodness. I wouldn't be afraid. I'd be afraid, too. I'd be scared to death. Um, if some of them went there hiding in the bathroom, y'all. I've seen them hiding in the bathroom. Come on, Emily. You can do it. Come on, Emily. Tell us who you are. Come on, sis. Tell us. Very good. All right. Very good. Come on, Emily. Tell us what you're thankful for, hon. Tell us what you're thankful for, young man. I'm thankful for the uh, opportunity to be here today and allow me to say my Very good. Very good. That's good stuff. You know, when I think about everybody in what they say they're thankful for, you know, a lot of us are thankful for family. We're thankful for our friends. We're thankful for people that have been influential in our lives. We're thankful for uh, a new baby. We're thankful for uh, all the things that we, we're grateful for, our health. You know, and as you grow older, you know how important that is. Very important. You know, when I think about all these things, I, I can truly say in my heart, God is good. He's good through the hard times. He said, I'll never leave you nor yet forsake you. He said, I promise I'm going to be with you. I'm, I'm going to, to take care of you. I'm going to walk with you and talk with you. The song we sang in the garden and he walks with me, and he talks with me, and he tells me that I am his own. You see, I, I, if, if, if Romans chapter 1, verse 16 uh, could be placed on our, a T-shirt, I am not ashamed. I'm not ashamed. I'm not ashamed to let people know who I belong to. I'm not ashamed to let people know that, that I'm, a, I'm a Christ follower. I'm not ashamed to let people know that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Uh, today, uh, as we were moving Boname, uh, uh, or maybe it was yesterday, no, it was today, because I had this shirt on, and of course it's one we have here for Cowboy Church, one we have here for the church, and a lady asked me, what that mean? What's that shirt mean? I don't know what that means. I, I've seen that. I've seen you wearing that. What does that mean? And I said, well, here it is. It's the gospel, simply. Jesus came, he lived, he, he, he suffered, he bled, and he died. There's the cross. He came, he lived, he died. He died on a cross. He died on the cross for every man, woman, boy, and girl sin. Folks, that's a lot to be thankful for. Say amen. amen. Thankful. God is good. Then he was buried. And when he was buried, he rose from the dead. Early on Sunday morning, he rose again. He's alive. For 40 days, he marched around here in his new body. For 40 days, he marched around here. And folks, the only scars that we're going to have in heaven is the scars that will be on the arms and the hands of Jesus. Because our scars won't count anymore. I remember when I lost my finger, I've got a big old scar on my arm right here. It's big. Had almost 100 stitches right there in my arm. Had stitches here in my finger where they tried to sew it on i got scars all over my body i remember when i was a little boy i used a, a knife a pear knife to try to cut a tree uh, to make me a bow and arrow and i've got a scar right there i mean i remember that was when i was seven eight years old and i remember the scar but there won't be no more scars because jesus rose he rose again and then he left after 40 days and he went back to heaven to be with his father 
He said, I got to go home. I'm going to be with my dad. I'm going to sit with the right hand of him. And one of these days, he promised us he's coming back. He said, I'm coming back. I'm going to be back. I'm coming back after my children. So God is good. God's mercy is everlasting. His truth endures forever. And God's truth brings us to an understanding. Here tonight, if you don't know Jesus, one of these days you're going to die and stand face to face with Christ. One of these days you're going to die. The Bible says in Hebrews chapter 9, verse 27, it's been appointed a man once to die, and after this to judgment. We're all going to die. You better be ready to die. You better be prepared to die. This dear, this dear lady here said, Brother Kim, God's given me my help. I'm, I'm, I'm thankful to be here tonight. I'm thankful to be here. She's been through a lot. Brother Roger's been through a lot. Many of you have been through a lot. We've walked through the valley of the shadow of death. And friend, I want you to understand, God is good. And Psalms 101, just next down after Psalms 100, I want you to listen to what David says. David sings, and he said, I'm going to sing of mercy and justice. I will sing. I will sing. You see, this is one of the things that David promised God. God, I'm going to sing. He used to play a harp. He played a harp. But he would sing. And all these psalms that he wrote are songs that he would sing to God. He said, I will sing of mercy and justice to you, O Lord. I will sing praises. Then he says in verse 2, I will behave wisely. Well, that's a good word. I will behave wisely. He said, in a perfect way, in a mature way. You see, guys, when we become a child of God, we're not supposed to act like everybody else. We're to be different. We're to be different. And that's what God wants from us. He says, I'm going to behave in a right or a, or a perfect or a mature way. Oh, when you will you come see me? I will walk within my house with a perfect heart. I will set nothing wicked before my eyes. Now, I don't know about you, but I have failed there. I have failed there. I will not. Then he says in verse 4, he says, he says, a perverse heart shall depart from me. I will not know wickedness. Now, I hope you've caught this, but these are five I wills that David said he's going to do. Five I wills. After he give us a song of praise, after he says enter into his presence with thanksgiving, after he said enter his courts with praise, he says, I will do these things. Now, guys, if we're going to be believers in Christ, if the world's going to be attracted to Christ, you are the only Jesus they're going to see. Because you know what? I can't get many Christians to read this book, much less a lost world. We can't get believers to, to read this book every day and say, have, you need to have a quiet time. They get mad at you. You need to get in this book every day and open it up and see what God said. This is his love letter to us. So today, today, I will enter his courts with thanksgiving. I'm thankful for many things. As, may, as, as many of you said, for my salvation. I'm thankful for the call that God placed on my life when I was 17. And I surrendered to the ministry and I surrendered to his call. I'm thankful for that. I'm grateful that he, he has chosen me to preach the gospel, to share the good news to a lost and dying world. I'm grateful that God has chosen me to do those things. I'm thankful. I'm thankful for my family. I'm thankful for my children and my grandchildren. I'm thankful for my parents and in-laws. I'm thankful for the people that I work with, for Cole and, and our staff and for the, for the very many people that serve Marmaduke First Baptist Church. For, I'm thankful for Cowboy Church. My grandson today, we, he's been helping us work, move. And he said, Poppy, do you like Cowboy Church? I said, man, I do. I said, we've, we've, we've had a tough time here since COVID. It's been tough. Brother Don said tonight, boy, we haven't we got very many here tonight. And I said, you know, you're right. But people are going to make an ex excuse for why. But you know what, what I like about this? We're going to enjoy our fellowship with each other. We're going to come and enjoy that, ain't we? We're going to like that. We're gonna, it, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you're rich or poor, if you're, if you're big or tall. It doesn't matter if you're, you're just you, and we want to be around you, okay? And we enjoy the fellowship. I enjoy the singing. I enjoy it when we get to sing. 
And I enjoy it when others get to come in and share with us in song. I love that. But folks, I enjoy taking this book and sharing it with you. I will enter its gates with thanksgiving. I will utter my voice in praise. So this month, all month long, is a month of thanksgiving. It's a month of great gratitude. You be thankful. And you tell somebody how thankful you are for them. Let them know that. Very important. Let's pray, all right? Because let's sing Jesus paid it all, Cole. Jesus paid it all. He paid it all for your sins and for mine. If you know somebody that's lost tonight that doesn't have a personal relationship with you, pray for them. Call their name out. Call their name out. Father in heaven, we want to tell you we love you. Father, I am thankful. I have entered in this place with a thankful and a grateful heart. Lord, I came expecting you to be here, you be among us, you be with us, you guide us, you lead us and direct us. Father, I'm thankful for the men that shared their hearts tonight, for the women that told us what they're grateful for. Father, it's just simple. It's just simple. It's not hard. God, we love you because you first loved us. And Lord, if the world could understand that great love, the great sacrifice you gave, that you came, you lived among us. God, you stepped out of heaven and stepped into time. The, the, the being that always has been, the, the being that always has will be, the, the, the one that, that spoke this world into, into creation, loves us so very much. And he, went, he came and died on a cross, hung naked on a tree for your sins and for mine. And tonight, all you have to do is acknowledge, Lord, I'm a sinner. Please forgive me of my sins. Come into my life and change my life. And God will begin to speak to you personally. He'll speak to you in a way that you couldn't imagine. God loves you so much. Father, thank you for paying it all through your son, Jesus. I love you. And I'm thankful for each and every one. Lord, this month, help us to be grateful. Help us to be thankful and help us to be mindful. Of, Lord, that we're just not saying we're thankful for such and such and so and so, but Lord, help us to show that. And first of all, let us enter into your courts with praise and enter into your house with thanksgiving because you, Father, endure through all things. Let's sing that. Jesus paid it all. The Savior say, Thy strength indeed is small. Child of weakness, watch and pray. Find in me thine all in all. Jesus paid it all. All to him I owe. Sin had left a crimson stain he washed it white as snow lord now indeed i find thy power and thine alone can change a leper's spot and melt the heart of stone. Jesus paid it all, folks. Sing that. Jesus paid it all. All to him I owe. Sin had left a crimson stain. He washed it. Just the chorus. Just the chorus. Jesus paid it all, all to him I owe. Sin had left the crimson stain, he washed it white as snow. When I think of that song, I think uh, we don't really realize how valuable what Jesus did for us is he paid it all I, I don't ha I, I can walk right up to the gate and it's going to say paid in full why because of faith in Jesus he paid it all 
He did it all. I, 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 if you're trying to do something, you're in trouble. He paid it all. I, I shared with the folks at Manna on Wednesday, I saw a picture. And in this picture, it was titled, it was a, a man or a woman. I'm not really sure which one it was. I couldn't tell. Uh, but it, it had a person hugging Jesus, <clears throat> a caricature of Jesus. And underneath it, it said, first day in heaven. Whew, can you imagine that? First day in heaven. I mean, we're going to be amazed at the streets. We're going to be amazed at the celestial air. We're going to be amazed at the sun, at the moon, at the stars. We're going to be amazed at the radiance of God. We're going to be amazed. But you know what we're going to be amazed at? We're going to be amazed at that one who approaches us and has his arms out wide. He said, welcome home. I have your room ready. I have your mansion done. It's completed. Welcome home. And just to hug him. You know, if you've ever been away from somebody and you hug them and you, you think, man, I just can't get enough of this. Well, folks, that's the way it's going to be in glory. I just can't get enough. Jesus paid it all. And all God's people said, amen. Man, I'm glad you're here tonight. Thank you for coming. I appreciate you. Thank you for sharing tonight. We're grateful for each and every one of you. I just thank you for what we're going to do. As again, Cole said, we're our discipleship now this weekend for our teenagers starts tomorrow afternoon. And pray for them. They're going to be doing some work projects uh, uh, and praying. We keep praying that the rain doesn't happen so they can do the jobs that we've got uh, set up. We're going to build a wheelchair ramp. We're going to do some. We're going to paint the Good Samaritan Don's Diner, and we're going to do some painting at the church and the stairwells. We're excited about that and those things that those uh, uh, things that's going to be done and uh, but I'm very grateful for that and for the leadership of our uh, folks and our students and then as Cole said we were uh, we'll be back here on the 17th uh, Lake Street Band will be here so don't miss that and then on the 20th uh, we're going to have um, uh, our community Thanksgiving service now we'll let you know uh, what we need you to bring sometimes we've asked you to bring desserts did we say did we we didn't say, did we? We'll, we'll let you know if there's something you need to bring. We'll let you know that. We would really appreciate that because I, I think we've got some stuff that's left. We've got potatoes need to be made. Um, corn needs to be cooked. Uh, just different things, and, and, and we're going to bring that. We're going to provide for about 200 people. We'll have it at the school. Uh, we are looking forward to a great time there. And then, of course, it's going to start Christmas season, so we'll sing some Christmas songs and uh, tell about Jesus again. Thank you guys for coming tonight. We love you. Uh, tell 13 people you love them. That'll be about half the congregation tonight. Just tell them you love them. God bless you. Have a good night, everybody. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thanks for jumping in tonight.